Hey guys, so here we are back on the server. There goes Mateus with the chisel plow. Um, we're leasing quite a bit of land now. We're leasing um, 17, 18, 3, 4, 2, 1, 3, 26, 25, 14. Um, so, probably. 60% of our land is leased right now, um, but we we have a lot of uh, grain, canola, soybean, and corn that uh, we have left to sell. So we'll be able to we'll be able to uh, buy it back, you know, once we're uh, able to sell some of our grain. So what I'm doing in this field is this field is pretty much toast with nutrients. So we're just spraying NPK and then we're going to uh, plow this, you know, this field and uh, those two under and and uh, 26 as well. All of our newly acquired fields, you know, they have some, some crop is withered, some crop is not, but, you know, it's not even worth harvesting this crop because the nutrients are so low um, it's actually will actually get a better benefit by just plowing it under for uh, nutrients um, So right now we have 11, we have 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 15, 20, 17, 18, 3, and 44 sprayed. We're working on, uh, then we have 1, 2, 13, 14, 26, 24, 25, 26, 28 left to do, so. Um, I would say we're probably halfway done with spraying our fields. Uh, we have uh, three we sprayed and plowed under, so that one's pretty much ready to go. I think I'll probably plant alfalfa there just because um, we really won't have to worry about it. We can just merge it and bale it. And forget about it. So this is the rig he was running. I'm trying to think what. That one can use a little splash of fuel. I think we're going to plant this field 3 in the south part of 44 to, to alfalfa. grass
So right now, based on the land that we have, it'll probably be around eight to ten thousand a day. It's going to cost us to lease our land, which um, isn't that big of a deal because we probably have. I don't know, a million, 1.1, 1.2 million in crops we need to sell, so. Definitely be able to pay off some of our debt. We have like 2.2 million in loans. So we've had some pretty decent rains, um, but so our moisture in the field is pretty, you know, it's uh, it's fine, um, pretty manageable situation at 43%. Um, our nutrients are pretty much non-existent until we plow all this under. So I think this season, since we picked up so much more land, that we'll probably plant um, some barley, and we'll probably plant a little bit, you know, another field of canola, um, and then um, obviously we'll be planting. Uh, we'll probably try to get double our bean production. We lost the field 16. Uh, sold that and uh, paid off some debt purchased other fields and then leased uh, some additional fields but uh, we no longer have 16 so 16 was our big bean field so we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, make up for lost ground in our beans which shouldn't be that difficult to do. But um, there's been a lot of uh, great demands at the Budweiser plant for barley. So I'd like to grow another crop like that. The only thing is, uh, guys need to be in communication with one another when they're on and off, so you don't spray herbicide, the wrong kind of herbicide if you're uh, running barley versus beans, so. But there's definitely a good opportunity to plant a decent amount of barley and wheat. Uh, preferably barley because that seems to be more often than wheat. Trying to see where my change in train. So all the, all the way up to the mountains, we 
are farming that land. We're farming all of that land there as well. Um, we're farming pretty much everything you can visually see except way, way back there on the upper part of the screen. We're not farming really any of that land except for 17. Um, so you can pretty much vi visually see all the land we're farming. What, what we determined is we're going to plow in all a new, all newly acquired land. We are um, plowing it all under after we spray. All existing fields that we own, we're only uh, chisel plowing corn. And then uh, we're going to probably uh, either do um, just vertical tillage on our bean or we're probably going to get a 2100 and uh, vertically rip that. Since it's a little bit uh, larger working with than our E. coli uh, tiger, so cover a little bit more ground, and then get the benefits of plowing with that. Um, I think by next season, when we start acquiring more land, we're also going to have to. Um, it's really going to come down to either buying another combine header and draper or uh, we're gonna maybe trade in um, a tractor and small di uh, small chisel for uh, you know like uh, the MT 2720 just a little bit bigger primary tillage rig because we're really at the point now where we um, need it although we don't own and we don't really own much land we're, we're leasing a lot of it so Hopefully after this next season, uh, we'll be able to capitalize on all this land we're farming with some small equipment and try to try to own own some land and just buy buy uh, more equipment. Tractor taking screenshots. So pretty boring work to do on the farm right now, it's just trying to get our land sprayed so we can start plowing. So it's all, this is all kind of boring stuff, but it's what makes you the money, so you have to do it. I think some of our fields we're going to have to actually broadcast on limestone and get the pH back under control. Some of them around 6 point, 6.2 so they could use just a superficial, you know, without plowing it under broadcast of limestone. We put we put a lot of our fields um, we put down a lot of her herbicide and we put down a lot of application of MPK and just try to get our moisture up. Uh, so we probably sprayed our fields probably four, four or maybe even five times in some fields. So that drops the pH, you know, slowly but surely. So.
12 hours on this sprayer alone, so. Here's our other sprayer. This one has 19.2 hours on it. <coughs> so all these fields over here, they're already sprayed. 20 sprayed, ready to get cultivated under. server. The server really is terrible. Everything acts so different. Really unfortunate. Mateus is over there plowing in some withered corn. So I want to help him out. I um, added an indoor light on this now so I can see at night. It's kind of bothering me. So here we got our T9 450. This thing is stud. As you can see, we're not running very big uh, tillage equipment, but when there's two in the field, it goes pretty quick. It's usually nice when there's one guy spraying and then two doing tillage. So. sprayed this I was making a headland over here so I have a place to turn around
purchase withered corn that isn't harvestable but we went and sprayed MPK prior to this and If I get out, nutrients are pretty low. But if I get behind here, we're well up to pretty respectable levels after plowing in this corn. So. <laughs> This field, wait, I think maybe we actually might own this one. We might own this one and three, and we're leasing pretty much everything else. So, compared to uh, the old tillage setup of the 2720, this is, uh, working with this 9.5, 2720 is like 9, I think, maybe. So, it takes quite a bit longer than tilling with two big 2720s at... 11, 10, 11 miles an hour, whatever it is, so. But, uh, this, this, uh, uh, this 870 gives the 450s pretty decent workout in some areas, so. all the lighting packages on our tractors now and combines so in our trucks the only thing we don't have a lighting package on right now is the sprayers and the t8 but we don't really use the t8 much um, we use that for uh, our alfalfa work and um, you know for chipple mowers merging and bailing so other than that, it doesn't really have a job on the on the on our current farm yet. Just it's pretty much just our dedicated uh, hay crop tractor. Uh, we were running. We might uh, be able to run uh, depending on how busy we get. Like if we're running two combines, we we really should be running two carts and a truck driver. So.
Looks like he was running up over here, so... Anyways, I'll probably end the video here and hopefully next one's a little bit more interesting, so thanks for watching.